here's a video to show um, the capabilities of the definitive diagnosis CAN bus tool. Um, the setup is quite simple, uh, just a USB. If the light is glowing, uh, then that means you've got CAN communication and it's the tool is reading the CAN. Uh, connections, I've got a two channel scope here. So I'm reading CAN low, I've teed in here. This one is CAN low to the tool. This is connected to uh, the vehicle's CAN low. Uh, this is my trigger wire, which is going straight in. We're not teed in there, that's straight into channel A. CAN low channel B uh, and CAN high. If you've got a four channel scope, you can monitor both CAN channels on the scope um, by plugging this one into the third channel. And this CAN high is going off to the vehicle uh, CAN high on that network. So that's real simple setup. Um, just to show a demonstration of what it can do. Uh, I've got the scope on here. So on channel A, which is the blue trace at the bottom, I have the trigger set up on this. So it's at zero volts at the moment. I'm triggering when it gets to two volts. The CAN tool will send out a voltage signal every single time it detects an error on the network. Um, so we shall set a trigger at two volts and record at... What we're going to do here let me just change this um, two millisecond per division uh, so we want to capture a fair bit of data on that screen um, so what i'm going to do now is set the trigger up here we're going to have a single trigger and we are going to set that at two volts and I'm going to move it to the right hand side of the screen so what we want to try and achieve is capturing the fault that we're going to see in this area here because the trigger is going to happen just after the actual event so we want to catch as much as we can this side okay so the scope is running we have a light on we've got communication so I'm going to introduce a fault to the network now there we go so as we can see here I've got the ruler on zero volts there's the trigger the can tool is triggered to say there is an error on the network there's the CAN messages that are good CAN messages where the networks come back and we can see here I'll let you guess for a second what the fault is you can see a short to ground now if that was a a short anywhere on here between one of these messages so just a real fast short there this CAN tool will detect that error um, now there is software that comes with the tool as well um, let me just bring that up this is the software um, all you do is you hit start you can see all the live data coming through on the left hand side it populates all of the IDs that are being broadcast uh, and also you can filter each ID. Let's put a load on there. There's, now there's no sensors hooked up. This is a vehicle network, but there's no sensors on it. It's just an ECU and a, a couple of other modules with a dash that are hooked up on the bench. Um, I'm just going to do a quick demo of a fault on here. Now you can see the filtered data, like I said, there's no sensors, it's, it's, it's not moving, everything's static at the moment. I've got a signal generator on, if I just bring up the RPM, that's how you're going to narrow down 
um, the IDs because the error counter will show you the ID of where the error is um, and you can see here these bytes changing as we move the signal generator so we know from this ID 120 uh, and 110 uh, ECU side because we've we've got that crank sensor um, bypass with the signal gen generator okay so just quickly again I'll just pop a couple of faults on here on the network just so you can see just doing various faults here and it's detected eight errors um, with the IDs which correspond to these IDs that are on the network here. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, the tools are available now. Uh, there will be a, a short while where, where I get everything together. Um, but yeah, just send me a message on Facebook and I'll hopefully get a tool to you soon. Thank you.